you think the challenges on Project Runway are getting more demanding on the designers each season? No. Um, I don't think the challenges are more demanding. I will say the, the dramatic turn for me, and it's been true the last several seasons, um, but especially this past one, um, the challenges are getting shorter. Um, mm. there, there were this season, um, I, th- I think I'm correct, with the exception of one challenge, the last one, um, they were all one-day challenges. And Heidi will occasionally talk to me off camera and ask, why isn't this work any better? And I'll say, and my, re- my response is, give them more time. I mean, it's really a matter of time more than anything else. Um, no, I don't think they're, I mean, I think that they're, they're all very demanding, all the challenges. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I make my experience with each season of, of designers analogous to my experience teaching, and every semester I would have a whole new group of students with different DNA and different chemistry among them as a group, and that's what you just don't know when we launch a season of the show. You just don't know how the designers are going to respond to the challenges, how they're going to respond to the ever-increasing level of of, um, exhaustion, both physical, emotional, creative, uh, and mental exhaustion. It's, it's, it's really daunting. So on the one hand, the longer they stay on the show, hooray, congratulations. On the other hand, can I please go home? <laughs> um, it's, it's, a, it's really very demanding. Yeah, it really is. Now, focusing more... Is perception that the challenges have, have become more difficult? Uh, not so much the challenges, the time crunch. It just seems like they're, oh, they're yeah. shorter and shorter times. Yeah. So, yeah, so I'm glad you know, to... And I always say, and, and I actually am quite serious about it, I always say to the designers, this challenge begins and ends at mood. Yeah. If you get back to work for me, you don't have what you need, and you, where, where the, the ingredients are correct, you're really in trouble. Mm-hmm. And it's hard to pull out of that. I guess you're going to have to, you know, make sure the next designers know that very well. <laughs> Well, actually, we, we, I had a very serious talk with them the first time we went to move the, this season's group of designers about myriad issues having to do with the, with the time constraints and materials. I mean, for instance, why, if you've never used a silk charmeuse before, why would you choose it? I mean, it's incredibly difficult to work with. So work with things that you're familiar with and that you, you feel you have command over as opposed to things that are ruling you and, and dictating to you. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, man, I agree. Thank you so much, Tim, for your insights on everything. And I love you on Project Runway. It wouldn't be Project Runway without you. Oh, uh, thank you, Sarah. Well, I'll tell you, as long as there's Project Runway, I'll be there, even if I'm in a wheelchair or an iron lung. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs>